going to work on what I've deemed the Qigong field manual, which is just things cobbled together from all the Qigong I've learned over the past 50 years that is very easy so that just people who have no prior training can do it. So let's start with the top down. So we're going to go, it's, it's the three warmers, the, the upper, middle, lower. So we'll, we'll just designate that to make it even more simple. The head, the lungs and heart, and the guts, okay? So starting with the head, and that includes the neck. Let's start with the eyes. So clap your hands together, rub them till they're warm. So this is a good thing to do in bed. Your hands will still be warm when you wake up. So there's, it's easier, <laughs> there's less clapping involved. And when your hands get warm, palm your eyes. Take five to seven breaths. start with the tear ducts and just push in and now you're going to find a little notch in the bone and push in there as if to push away blood that's what you're doing calm relaxed breath and straight up, if you were looking straight ahead, you'll find another little notch. Find that little notch. Push the blood away. And notice how the blood rushes back when you let go. So we're stimulating blood flow to the brain-eye connection. Okay, here we go. On this edge, the corner, what, what's referred to as the corners of your eyes. You can even pinch a little there, push in, and don't pop your eyes fall out. <laughs> so we've gone one, two, three, four. The fifth one, you can get the whole bottom with your with your pointer finger, or you can just push center. So remember, the, you're pushing fluid, you're squeezing out fluid, and then when you let go, the fluid comes back, okay? Amazingly, this clears your head, and your thinking becomes less muddled, which is often the case in the morning, where you're like, oh, what day is it, what time is it? You know, do this first, and you'll be more, you'll feel more alert as soon as you get out of bed. All right, we're gonna stay in this upper region, Use your thumbs like a home base being your temples and use the center of your pointer finger, right? And just scrape from middle right above the eyebrows and then make circles at your temples. And then scrape one level up, circles at the temples. And then at the scalp line, circles at the temples. All right, let's do this three times. Good. All right, there's another way to do this, so just so you don't... I do this stuff every day, so it gets boring, so it's good to have the variations. Uh, if you take all your four fingers and just pull them apart, and then use your fingers to make circles at the temple, that's the other way to do it. You can tell if you have dry skin when you do this. If your forehead splits apart, you know you need to be... Put some coconut oil on that. All right, now let's go across the temples from back to front this way. This is how I do my hair in the morning. <laughs> Just above the ears. So we're going forward and back, forward and back. Dig in, dig in, make some blood move, you know? Okay, now you're gonna take little beaky fingers or separate and uh, at the crown point to the left and right side. So right now, we're stimulating fluid between our brain hemispheres, right? Good, 
All right, let's go to the back right here. So it makes a big noise. Good. 